Okay, so good morning class. Okay, so in this video, I will discuss to you about our last topic, which is the recreational problems using mathematics. So what do we mean by recreational problems? So let us first discuss the definition of a recreational mathematics. So when we say recreational mathematics, it consists of games, tricks, or puzzles that are most of the time designed for entertainment, pleasure, amusement, or fun. So when we say recreational mathi mathematics, not, not actually it involves uh, it involves numbers to solve. It involves equations to solve. Sometimes it it actually involves some sort of analysis and higher degree of patience so that uh, you actually solve the given a puzzle or the given logical statement that is actually uh, part of a recreational mathematics. So sometimes, uh, yung recreational mathematics, hindi kailangan dito ng uh, you are going to solve, uh, you are going to show your solution in terms of numbers, di ba? Pa, pa, pabilisan ng pag-solve ng mga numbers. No. Um, it involves a games or a tricks or a puzzles. So if you are familiar with a Rubik, Rubik's Cubes or a sudo, Sudoku puzzle, di ba? Uh, sometimes in a Rubik's Cube, kailangan lang natin buuin kung, uh, or pagsama-samahin yung mga color. Um, uh, dito sa side na to, uh, lahat color yellow and then the side here is lahat color green. Kung ano man yung color ng Rubik's Cube na meron kayo. So actually, um, doon sa sa Rubik's Cube, it is actually using recreational mathematics. So, not all the time na kapag nakarinig tayo ng mathematics, ay, more on number siya. No. Sometimes, uh, mathematics it is, it is also involves a games or tricks. Na talagang pag, talagang kailangan natin pag-isipan ng maayos na hindi natin kailangan ng numbers, hindi natin kailangan ng calculators na isolve yung problem na yun. So, yun yung definition ng recreational mathematics. And though, its main purpose is for recreation, kaya nga, from the word recreational, the main purpose is recreation, it cannot be denied that the amount of mathematical content, understanding, and procedure also requires some sort of rigor analysis and high degree of patience. So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na um, kahit na yung purpose niya is for recreation, hindi pa rin natin madideny that the the that the amount of mathematical concept, understanding, in procedure also requires some sort of analysis and high degree of patience. Why? Kasi um, we are not aware na yung yung nilalaro na pala natin is involved na pala yung mathematics. Halimbawa, when we are playing chess. But when we are playing chess, when we are playing dama. So, when we are playing dama or chess, actually, we are using a mathematics there. We, because there is a mathematical concept beyond that. And we actually use, um, we need to actually analyze yung given a setup doon. Hanggang sa, di ba, yung pinaka- pinaka-purpose natin is para manalo tayo sa isang game. So, yun. Yun yung meaning ng recreational mathematics. Involves yung games, puzzle, or tricks doon. So, sometimes, may mga logic problem tayo na na-encounter na akala natin, wala lang yun. Di ba? When we are browsing our Facebook, sometimes may lumalabas dyan ng mga problem na, mga challenge, na akala natin, is walang involved si mathematics. Actually, yung mga problems na yun na lumalabas doon sa ating, uh, uh, sa mga social media, it actually involves a mathematics there. Hindi lang kasi na yung isip natin kapag nakarinig tayo ng mathematics, is, it is actually uh, consists of numbers. No. Kasi uh, in this, 
in this discussion, hindi involves si numbers, hindi involves si equation para isolve yung mga ano. So in this in this part of the discussion, we need to analyze carefully what really the problem is, kung ano ba yung hinahanap. So we need to use uh, some tables or charts or some diagram to solve uh, kung ano ba yung yung kailangan natin isolve. And when and every struggle but every struggle is rewarded when the Eureka moments are reached. So when we say Eureka, it means that I found it. I found it. So when the Eureka moments are reached, you actually say that I found it. Kumbaga, maganda sa pakiramdam kasi pinaghirapan mo yung isang bagay na yun. Pinaghirapan mo na, na makuha kung ano ba yung hinahanap doon sa problem mo. So kapag nakuha mo yun, actually you are um, maganda sa, sa pakiramdam. And you actually say it that you found it. Or means that you wreck. So in this situation, so we use actually the recreational mathematics. So let us have some example of illogic puzzles. So in this example, this is actually um, an example of a logic. So here is our problem. Each of four neighbors, Sean, Maria, Sara, and Brian, has a different occupation. So, yung occupation na binanggit dito is the editor, banker, chef, or dentist. So, from the following clues, determine the occupation of each neighbor. So, in this problem, we have uh, four clues. The first one, Maria gets home from work after the banker but before the dentist. Sarah, who is the last to get home from work, is not the editor. And the third clue, the dentist and Sarah leave for work at the same time. The fourth clue, the banker lives next door to Ryan. So in this problem, editor, banker, chef, or dentist are the occupations. Pero hindi, uh, hindi minimian na si Sean is the editor, si Maria is the banker, si Sarah is the chef, and then si Brian is the dentist. So actually, we need to analyze it carefully. So let's have our solution. Okay. So from clue number one, we have Maria gets home from work after the banker but before the dentist. So in our clue number one, it means that si, uh, Maria gets home from work after the banker but before the dentist. So we use uh, tables para malaman natin kung ano ba yung work ng uh, apat na neighbor na yon. So from clue number one, Maria is not the banker nor the dentist. So in this column, we have Sean, Maria, Sarah, Brian, and in this row, we have editor, banker, chef, and dentist. Okay, so we write X1 that stands for ruled out by clue 1. Meaning to say that Maria is not the banker. And also, Maria is not the dentist. So we need, we need to write X1 under the dentist form. Okay. So meron ng dalawang na X na occupation si Maria which is the banker and which is the dentist. In our clue number two, Sarah, Sarah, who is the last to get home from work, is not the editor. So meaning that Sarah is not the editor. Okay, so we write X2 since it is clue number two under the editor's column of Sarah's row. So we have X2. And since Sarah is the last to get home from work and we determine that Maria gets home from work after the banker. So meaning to say that banker is not the last 
to get home from work. So we need to write x2 under the bunker's column of Sarah's room. And for our, so you have here, so, si Sara, hindi na possible na yung equation niya is the editor and then si Sara is also not the bunker. So, in our third clue, the dentist and Sara leave for work at the same time. So, meaning to say, sabay sila na umaalis papunta sa work. Yung dentist and then Sara, si Sara. So, meaning to say that Sara is not the dentist. So, we write, x2 under the dentist column of Sarah's room. So we have x, I mean x3 under the dentist column of Sarah's room. So since meron ng tatlong na x na occupation under kay Sarah, which is editor, banker, and dentist, then we can conclude that the occupation of Sarah is a chef. So we write check under the chef column of Sarah's row. So, since Sarah is the chef, so hindi na possible na yung occupation ni Sean, Maria, and Brian is a chef. So, we need to write X3 under the chef column. So, we have X3, X3, and X3. And by this, as you can see, there are three X's in Maria's row, which is the bunker, the chef, and then the dentist. So we can we can also conclude that the occupation of Maria is she is an editor. So we need to put a check under Maria's row. So we have now chef. Cross out natin si chef kasi chef is yung trabaho ni Sara. And then, si editor naman yung trabaho ni Maria. Meaning to say that si Sean and then si Brian, hanapin natin kung si Brian ba is the banker or the dentist. And si Sean ba is the banker or the dentist. So, by this um, by this solution, since Sarah is the editor, meaning to say that Sean and Brian is not the editor. So, we need to write X3 under Sean and Brian's row. So, we have X3 and then X3. So, dalawa na lang yung pagpipilian natin. In our fourth clue, the bunker lives next door to Brian. So, we have here, from clue number four, Brian is not the bunker. Why? Because the, uh, the bunker lives next door to Brian. So we write, so we need to write x4 under Brian's row. Since according to clue number 4, Brian is not actually the bunker. So we have x4. So meaning to say that there are three x's under Brian's row. So hindi na siya yung editor. Brian is not the bunker. Brian is not the chef. So, meaning to say that Brian is actually the dentist. So, Brian is actually the dentist. And, since Brian is the dentist, meaning to say that Sean is not the dentist, so we need to check Bunker's column under Sean's row. So, by this um, table, we can conclude that the occupation of Sean is, is a banker and Maria is the editor, Sarah is the chef, and then Brian is the dentist. So, from this statement, nalaman natin yung occupation nila by using a table. So, understood. So, Sean is the banker, Maria is the editor, Sarah is the chef, and then Brian is the dentist. So, from these following clues, 
we can actually determine what uh, the occupation of each neighbor. What is the occupation of Sean, Maria, Sarah, and Brian? Okay, understand? If you if you understand the problem, if you understand our solution, you may actually answer our activity three the recreational mathematics. Thank you and God bless.